Um, can I go down here? Yeah, sort of. Oh. Ooh. Use the emergency medical inhaler to heal something. We. Oh, that's better. Ooh. All right. Hello there, folks. Welcome to Night's Arcade. I'm Sleepless Night. And look, we're in the outer world. Oh, we're about to be in a minute, anyway. Uh, so, yeah, you know, this is a new game. Exciting new times. Everything's really, really... Uh, well, I'm going to turn down the, my headset for a second there. So, yeah, you know, a new game from Obsidian. And what looks like, from what I've seen so far, Fallout New Vegas, but with a bit more colour. And the game is quite a bit shorter, as I understand. And, you know, spacecraft. But otherwise... Fallout New Vegas. <laughs> so, you know, here's hoping everything goes well. How could you go too wrong with this? I'm like so psyched for this game. I'm really, I'm hoping it's got a lot of side stuff because apparently the main sort of quest, the main storyline is not all that long. <clears throat> um, but, you know, it's got to be more than Greedfall, surely, which was disappointingly short, even with all the side quests I could possibly find. Um, so yeah, you know, a new game. I'm excited about it. Um, I'm going to attempt to. I'm going to attempt to remain really upbeat, and I'm sure that won't be a problem starting a new game that I've been looking forward to. But um, but you know, there are reasons why I've got. I've given myself a headache today, but I'm not going to start with that. I'll explain that at the end. For those of you regular subscribers who want to know what's going to go on on the channel and what sort of things I'm doing at the moment to change things on the channel, you'll wait till the end. But for now, we're going to dive right in. And before we do. I'm going to explain to you that I suppose I can do it in the menus here, so we'll just go ahead. See? Continue or new games. I'll explain that in a moment. I have started, but only just. So I'm going to go back, and because I just wanted to see how much sort of preamble there was, and it turns out quite a lot. And if I'd sat here reading through the whole thing, I could have added another half an hour on. So we'll just skip through that, but we'll start a new game in normal, <clears throat> as always, with those subtitle settings I like when you can turn subtitles off specifically in cinematics but the rest of the game sort of continues to have them I actually like that option certainly helps later on when I'm making like reviews and like when I'm making ultimate reviews and things why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars come to Halcyon the only colony on the edge of the frontier, owned and operated by corporations. A trip of ten short years will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. things in very obsidian of them Phineas Vernon Wells fugitive wanted by house in holdings board for crimes against the colony did that say hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line disgraceful All right, so I see how they've integrated this, actually, second run around. So what I did was I went through the sort of setup, the character setup, 
so that I would familiarise myself with everything and so that this process would be a little bit faster. You know, me talking over it tends to give you the impression that it won't, but trust me, I'm very indecisive. This took me about half an hour, so let's hope we can whip through it fairly quickly. Uh, but I like how they integrated it in, so this is presumably what he's importing to select one particular colonist, so... Uh, we've got six points here, so I'm going to punch all these up to good to start with, and then trying to work out which ones... Which one? So I wasn't... What did, why wasn't I bothered about dexterity? We turn one of these down to turn one of the others up, but I'm not sure which, whether intelligence, charm, maybe perception. Uh, weak spot damage is sort of dexterity, strength, intelligence, critical damage. So let's turn the intelligence up to high in stark contrast to myself. Um, skills. Skill points. <clears throat> so you got melee. So you can add one in these and after level 50 you can specialise by adding points directly into the separate parts of it. Right? So you can add skill points to these and then after level 50 you can specialise by adding ones into individual areas rather than ranging up the whole lot. So I'm going to start with range because I like range. You are going to paint the system red, my friend. Hmm. It's a very familiar voice. Can't place it. Defense skills improve your ability to avoid damage. We've only got two points, so we're dialogue, stealth, tech. Hmm. I'm not all about leadership. You know, they can follow me or go to hell. I'm not bothered. I'm never bothered about dialogue at this stage, but I must remember to put more points into that at a later time because, particularly in an Obsidian game, it becomes quite important. Some games, like Greedfall, it didn't really seem to make much difference, to be honest. But, right, stealth. So let's put it in stealth. Things tend to vanish off tables whenever you're around. Uh, who is that? Sounds a bit like Frank Langella. Okay. Oh yeah, these. Right, okay. <laughs> right, so no discernible aptitude. So these are your sort of job descriptions to determine what sort of skill bonus you receive. Colonist sounded like a nice entry-level career for a person of your skills. Expanding humanity's reach by civilizing the cosmic frontier was ambitious enough without worrying about your day job. You had the rest of your life to decide how to be useful in Halcyon. Halcyon colony needs good people, but it will settle for ones who can mix a memorable drink. I, <laughs> I, you know, at times like this, I really wish I had the voice of the guy that did the real American heroes of Budweiser adverts. I love those. These feel like they should be read in that. Anyway, we're going to pick scientist. Class A. Oh, right. Test subject. <laughs> Gender, male, face. See, I went through this because this can take me hours, but I just roughly kind of I remember seem to remember face number three is the one that's most like mine. Um I don't know. Maybe that skin tone there, number four. Eye colour. Doosh do. There we go. I tend to, in these, I know people go really wild. Sometimes I do go a bit mental and just create some random character. But a lot of the times, like in this instance, they had a face that's similar sort of shape to mine. So I guess, why not? <coughs> Horizontal adjustment, vertical adjustment to brow. I'd love to say I have these deep brooding brows, but it's a little bit higher, sort of. No, I guess it was right where it was. Um, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Vertical. Are you bothered about the vertical business with the eyes? It's a bit weird. Aye. Really does start to get a bit weird. Let's leave it where it was. Jaw, vertical. I guess I've got maybe got a slightly longer face than that. Okay, mouth size. 
like so. Mouth vertical. Kind of a slightly longer chin than anything else. <clears throat> Nose size. It's pretty good. Is that width? Yes. Leave that there. Tilt. That's ridiculous. Width. Vertical. There we go. Cheeks. I'm not bothered about that. Hair. Hair style. I picked one out here that was closest to my hairstyle, I guess. Which somewhere here. That's not it. Uh, that's not really it either. This one, maybe? Sort of. That one. Yeah, kind of. Kind of that one. Sort of. <coughs> Hair colour. That's... Getting to be a lot flecks of grey in my hair now. So. The brown, what about that? Not blonde, goodness gracious. That's close enough. Eyebrow style, really? Here me. Like that. Facial hair. We got the old five o'clock shadow. Yeah. Then it goes into other stuff. So five o'clock shadow. Not quite as long as mine, but still. It'll do. Put that roughly where the hair thing is. Features. Um. Oh, oh, yeah, look at that. Very bowy. Um, no, I'm a pretty clean person. Let's it's scar. Let's give an interesting scar. So it's a bit of a that, that one will do. Age. Oh dear, that ages you very, very badly indeed, doesn't it? Wow, I mean that's full pelt, but still. Thing is, I've got like it's the wrinkles around the eyes that get a bit crazy. Anyway, let's. Uh... Oh dear, let's leave it about there. Next character name. Let's just put knight in there. Yes, that's fine. Go. Yes, that's me. Everything's fine. Just get on with it. There we go. Oh. Hurry up there, Looks prop. to be your lucky day, my friend. Nice. Lovely little cinematics. Not likely, bootlickers. <laughs> Initiate skip jump. And we're off. Whoosh. There we go. Status structural integrity down twenty five per cent. Power levels down to skip drive. Shit. Okay. Right. So then I guess <clears throat> story so far is that you set off for this colony a long time ago with supposedly a 10 year journey but something went wrong and you were stuck there for 60 ah, years. Did you there say? you are. Oh. Wondering what's going on, eh? A bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. 
Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Nice. Oh, yes. Well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see here. Yeah? <laughs> Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! <laughs> yeah, so this is like Fallout meets Firefly so far, isn't it, really? I might start calling it Fallout Fly. <laughs> uh, so, so, I'll show you in a second. That's pretty much how far I got. Is this thing working? I'll show you. This ah, way. There you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one-of-a-kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... Uh, all the colonists are counting on you. Oh. Nice landing. How did he know how to do that? Ah, you've landed good. Hawthorne should be close by. What in law's name? <laughs> Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no <laughs> sense in letting his ship go to waste. Lovely. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Ah, uh, lovely. Right, so this exactly here is how far I've got. This point I turned the game off and went back. So now we're going to delve into it in bits I haven't seen yet. So far it looks goddamn pretty and I'm loving the writing and the voice acting and everything. Now, I should warn you, I've heard tell that for these first couple of hours, first two or three hours in fact, there's an awful lot of dialogue and not a great deal of mm, action. You know, there is a bit, apparently, but it's fairly short-lived where there is action, so, you know. But I'm only going to do the first hour-ish today, so... Jump! Ooh. Whee! Hello, little fella. Oh, this is... Look! Me taking in the sights of a beautiful new place. This is usually the point point at which I get eaten. Um, so yeah. I don't know if I really ought to be chasing this thing around. Because you want you want to bet every minute now we're going to come across it's mommy. Apparently, just his little sister. Wow, gorgeous! I'm gonna spend half my time in this game just looking up at that. I can tell. Sprint! Dun 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 dun. 
Yeah, that was exciting, wasn't it? There you go, true action for the next five minutes. Oh dear, what occurred here? Wherever it was, it's not good. If I had to guess, I'd say we have indeed come across that creature's mummy. A little bit of ghosting there. Ooh, take Adrino. Tall grass, rocks, or other cover to hide from enemies. Use this to sneak past enemies or sneak up on them to initiate combat. Awareness meters over enemy heads tell you if they're unaware, suspicious, investigating, or alerted. Okay, this is going to be where it gets quite tricky. Yeah, there you go. Awareness meter went up. But we got into the grass. We made it. And I'll do so well now. But... No, we're good, we're good. Okay, what's this thing? Nothing I can pick up. Saving. Back to your house for dinner, little dude. Maybe I'll see that. Uh, well, actually, this will have been compressed and then rendered, and God knows what else. Um, can I go down here? Use the emergency medical inhaler to heal something. Wee! Oh, that's better. Woo! All right. Oh, is a dude. out your junk uh, no I mean you, you know try what I the mean. best now <sighs> now try the rest spacer's choice oh wow that stings <laughs> is he like <laughs> contractually obliged to say that before he says anything else <laughs> nice um okay uh, looks like the bleeding stopped I owe you one hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Uh-huh. Better, thanks to you. I might have bled out on my own. Or worse, had to go begging the boss for some Madrina time. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. 
crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters oh by the entrance? <laughs> marauders come sniffing around in here. Wonder who that could have been. I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Uh, I'm sure. <laughs> I've got a better idea. Give me a gun. I'll go get help. <laughs> Okay. Um. Sure. Yeah. Okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. All spacers' choice weapons are now thirty percent less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best. Now try the rest. Spacers' choice. <laughs> yes, nailed it that time. <laughs> okay, I'm liking this so far. Um, do you know? Oh, do you know anything about the hope? Mm. The hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Anti Cleo or something? Yes, not. Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. Sure, I. I sure. You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. Hmm. Can't say I've heard of it, but then I've been taking a bit of a nap, so, uh... Bye. Now! No. I can't do it, much as I want to. Just can't do it. Good job Butch isn't here. He probably would've. Damage my ears! Oh, what just happened? Can you hear me? What in the... This... Oh! Uh-oh. <laughs> Tactical time dilation. Due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Pressing the tactical time dilation button slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as take action. You have limited time in this mode. Standing still drains your TTD meter very slowly while moving. In attack, strain it faster. The TTD meter refreshes slowly over time. Double clink the jump button to dodge left, right. Wow, okay. That's okay, you can eat this guy, I'm just gonna take his stuff. Take it all, don't know what it is. But that's what we do, isn't it? It's the RPG go to thing. Take everything at first butter knives, wooden plates, stuff, mag pick. Okay. Tarmac and cheese. Nice. Tarmac and cheese. Just lovely. Bunch of nanos. Mock apple. Nice. Hacking and picking locks. Your hacking and lockpick skills help you to get into places you're not meant to be. Mag picks are used to break open locks and bypass shunts are used to break computer encryptions. Okay. If your skill is high enough to break the security, you will see how many mag picks or shunts you need and how long it will take. Raising your skill will lower the number of items used and speed up the process. Three mag picks and I have three. 
telescoping staff. Melee weapon, 54 damage per second. 200 melee, damage 51, special effect knockdown, the iconic spacer's choice telescoping staff. Well, why not? What's this? Pre sliced bread. Okay. Fast ration pill. Fish sticks with an X. Oh, that sounds yummy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry, just seeing what happens with the various weapon management. Take care of all your T and L weapons and they'll take care of your enemies. Okay, so yeah, we got a, we got a saber and a telescoping staff. Saber's pretty lethal. Hmm, the gun seems to be a lot more lethal and is more my style. Is there a charge up function or anything? That did it. Right. Heal thyself. Win. Okay. All right. I've gone with the uh, the ranged weapons, particularly the pistol, because. I do like that sort of thing, but I will have a play about with the melee stuff. Just to see, you know, what that's all about. So that is my new ship. I kind of like it. I mean, it looks the same as his ship, but still, it's kind of pretty. That's the kind of ship I like. Oh, hello. Can I put this weapon away? Do I, um... Oh dear, controls. Mm, uh, button layout. Tactical time dilation attack, hold power attack. Okay, power attack. Uh, next weapon, crouch, sneak, jump. Reload, talk, or interact. Next weapon, hold for weapon radial. Companion special ability, companion move, two special ability, companion attack, move, click, sprint, emergency medical inhaler, aim, block. Okay. All right. So there hey, doesn't seem to be any way to put my weapon you away. All right. Not really. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Go on, right. that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official Spacer's Choice landing pad. I'd oh. slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. I know, right? Goodness. Really? How is he? It's all right now. <laughs> Of course I am. I'm a superior officer. Stands to reason, don't it? Couldn't resist that. Just you watch. I'll cross these marauders off with a swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just 
You know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Yeah, me too. <sighs> oh, persuade. Do Spacer's Choice Guards back down from a challenge? Uh, I bet you could get these marauders to tell you where the owner of that ship is. Sit tight, I'll handle it. <laughs> you think? It. Most marauders can't even talk. The criminals do attract other criminals by their own nature. You know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Yeah. And it's gonna be fucking laminated. Yeah, laminate the shit out of it. Go. I'm gonna get in their face. Yeah, go with her. Go. <laughs> I am loving this game already. Ah, uh, oh, wait. There we go. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. The vessel is valuable plunder. What's the matter with it? Mm -hmm. Smile for my surveillance device, Marauder. I am tracking your every move. The unreliable. Nice. I like this. It is very Firefly, though, isn't it? It's very Intruders Serenity. Intruders are not show. authorized to access the unreliable's amenities. Marauder, please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. Sure. Probably is going to be as well now. I'm going to ignore her and just get the shock of my life. All right. Marauder, please be informed that the engine room contains nothing of value. Okay, then what's this? Oh. Power regulator. <clears throat> this is what it needs. Um, oh, no, oh, wrong button. That's the wrong button. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, where? Wait. That even just looks like Serenity's kitchen. Galley, I should say, I guess, but... What? It's like they've even got Chinese checkers. Oh, come on! You're not even trying to hide it. Ooh. Gourmet saltuna fillets. Yum! Mmm. Mmm. Why can't I put this weapon away? Oh, I can. Okay. Marauder, please be informed the ship has no crew for you to murder. Well, thanks, Ada. Don't worry, we'll get along fine. All finding. doors are on security lockdown. Nice try, Marauder. Mm -hmm. We'll be getting along fine in no time, Ada. Don't worry. We'll be besties, you and me. First of all, uh, oh, right back at the beginning. Where do we? Oh, there we go. I should have probably just followed the mark. Unauthorized right access right of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. <clears throat> sure. Hello. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Okay. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Okay, bring it on. Um. Jettison procedures initiated. Disengage in airlocks. Prepare to eject all boarding parties in five, four, Jesus, three, Aiden. That's harsh. two, one. I knew you were bluffing. <laughs> oh no, perhaps you weren't bluffing, but of course, yeah, we didn't. We were on the ground. You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. 
I have been programmed to express disappointment. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, <clears throat> this vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. Hmm. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Okay, but he's dead. <laughs> Your captain's a red smear under my escape from. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Sure, yeah. What? You need me to be Captain Hawthorne or you can't fly. I mean, I do get it, but I'm just curious to see what... I understand. You are speaking metaphorically. You wandered outside this ship and experienced a permanent, life-changing encounter. The old you is dead. Welcome back, Captain Hawthorne. <laughs> I extend felicitations and congratulations on your life-changing experience. Okay. I guess that's an interesting way of getting around the fact that everyone puts a different name in, so it's not going to be able to address you by your name. Um, oh, my name is Knight. I understand. You are going undercover with an alias. I will update my discretion protocol accordingly. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Okay. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have it. taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain <laughs> of the unreliable. Do you understand? Yeah, sure. Captain Hawthorne of the Unreliable. Nice. Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. Sure. Ooh, look at that. Your sure thing, Ada. Gotcha. Congratulations, you've gained enough experience to go up a level. Open your character ledger to advance your character. Leveling up increases your health points, gives you points to upgrade your skills as well as gives you access to a new perk every other level. Keep leveling and you'll be upper management material in no time. Nice. Okay. Okay. Sure. Um, will do. Yep. Yeah. Sure thing. Every time you level up, you earn a skill point to spend on improving your skills. That does not look, look like a, a mom. Mom's friendly robot corp. Okay. After 50, you can add points directly into specialized skills up to 100. Okay. Armor, consumables, and status effects can temporarily raise and lower your skills. Yep. Sure. Got it. No problem. So I've got skills. Keep your company gear in tip-top shape as expected and something you're carrying needs repair. You can repair weapons and armor at a workbench using weapon and armor parts. Get them from breaking down unwanted items. Players with engineering skill can repair their gear without need of a workbench. Repairing an item returns it to 100% durability and full effectiveness. Thanks. Okay. Uh, perks. Selecting perks. You get a new perk point to spend every two levels. Auntie wants you to be your best to help her be the very best. Auntie Cleo. Health improvement. Vendor prices. Companion skills. XP from companion skills. Kills, rather. Tactical time dilation meter max. Damage when alone in party. Okay. Tactical time dilation recharge rate. Walk speed. Well, let's start with the 
What, what are they, wait, let's just weapon armor durability loss. 100% ammo stock on vendors. Uh, now additional ammo. Right, okay. Base armor rating. Companion critical hit chance. Okay, well let's, let's start with the health. Um, okay. Wait, did I have another perk? Did I have to... What do I have to do? Apply. Unable to undo point allocations. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so there we go. That's what I did that now. Melee. Ranged. Defense. Dodge and block. Dialogue. That I'm going to pick dialogue because that's actually turning out to be... Oh, wait. So we're in medical engineering tech. Alright, I'm definitely going to pick dialogue next time. Definitely, definitely, definitely without question. Yes. So. Oh, I've got nine points. I didn't realize I had nine. Because I wasn't looking, but you know, whatever. Okay. Dialogue. A couple more points into dialogue. There we go. Stealth. Tech. Again with the tech. We'll put one into ranged. Probably a good idea to put some in defense. And maybe we will stick one in leadership now. Okay, let's apply those. Okay, you've unlocked location hit effects for tactical time dilation. Hitting enemies in different locations during TTD. Maims or cripples those body parts. Try different locations to see the different effects. Hits to the chest produce different effects when using different weapons. It does say hold A, more on hold A. Have I botched any jobs yet? Nope. I haven't completed any either. Find a power regulator. Okay. Okay. Codex. Okay. Yep. Okay, there's a, a lot of stuff to sort of look through. Fast travel to locations you've unlocked. All right. Um, okay, Ada. I'm going out to look for a power regulator, I guess. I wonder if they're all still outside. Probably going to get arrested now, aren't I? Oh, hello. Ernest. Uh, Ernest. Wait, what? What happened? I'll be with you, friend. I'm Ernie, from the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. Town sent me hereabouts to check on the guards. Now, it seems to me, and correct me if I'm wrong here, but it seems to me they're all dead. Mind telling me what happened here? Fuck. Um, yeah. Well, that, that's the truth, actually, yeah. Hmm. Altercation, you say? Yeah, shame as that goes. Spacer's Choice policy strictly prohibits dying during work hours. Guess I'd better get to cleaning up. Can't just leave company property scattered about sure. and laid down on the dirt. No, that just messes up the dirt and then you've got to clean it, right? I could use that gear, no sense of letting a good suit of armor go away, so good idea. And clean up this shit while you're at it. Ooh. Is that an official Spacer's Choice spacecraft on an official Spacer's Choice landing pad? Do I look like an auto mechanical sanitation unit? The answer to both questions is no. <laughs> you don't want to amble on over to Edgewater at your earliest convenience. The constable's office might have work for someone with your, uh, let's just say, aggressive disposition. Oh, and uh, be sure to stop by the Edgewater Provisioner for a can of salt tuna. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. Nice. Don't get paid bit to chat with strangers. You want to chew the rag, go talk to Silas over by the cemetery. 
Okay. I was just going to ask you if you knew you sounded just a little bit like Christian Slater. But. Bye. Yes. I love this ship. Nice. Okay. Edgewater. 300 meters this way. Oh my god. Oh, more orders. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. By the way, okay. Let me try the. Uh... Oh, I don't think that's how that works. How do I uh, swap to a different weapon then? That's, no, that's armor. Okay. Sure. Equip it. On the Marauder's helmet now, there we go. It's the last you'll see of my face. <clears throat> okay. Right, now if I went in here to check the controls and I swap my weapon out. Next weapon, hold for the weapon radial. Okay, sure. Okay, let's give it a, give it a try. Yeah, I can't say, say that I'm a big fan of the uh, melee so far. So. <laughs> Spacer's choice. Okay. Oh dear. Wee. landing site. Oh, sorry. I'm more than halfway there, I guess. But I don't want to go up the hill. I kind of wanted to go through that little tunnel there, but I don't know if that was a good idea or what. What is that thing? Okay. Down and down and down we go. Into a cave on a strange planet. That seems like a good idea, doesn't it? Oh look, Aurora. Nice place. I guess that must be Silas then, huh? Whoa, hey, where'd you come from? Um, out there. How do you know I'm not a marauder? You talk too pretty for a marauder. Most of them just grunt and yell. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. <laughs> 
Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. Mm. Low, low prices, in, in fact. I never got your name. But, well, I did because it's written on the screen, but, um... There you go. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name Silas. No, I don't. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Good for you. Need a power regulator. Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got <laughs> business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. Hmm. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Okay. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? I... Um, huh? Edgewater is a company town, board-owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. <laughs> Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see. Oh, yeah. Company policy. If it was up to me, I'd put the whole town ten feet under, free of charge. Ten feet, okay. Quotas mostly. Got a backlog of graves to fill. Bodies won't bury themselves, you know. Four workers still haven't paid up Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. Okay. And you sound a bit like the guy who voices Charles in Red Dead Redemption 2. Just thought I'd say. He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Okay. That's cool. Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Sure. Yeah? You could look at it that way, I suppose. You could look at us and say, those Edgewater saps lost near every soul to plague. But you'd be wrong. We're survivors. Loyal company folk, brave in the wilds. Every now and again, a virulent plague sweeps through our town. That's life on the frontier, I suppose. <laughs> a body grows accustomed. Okay. Sure. Hang on, I'm doing some math in my head. Uh, 20, 30, carry the one... Uh, all my life? Work's been real good to me. Fresh air, exercise. Only problem's the paperwork. Can't get anybody to pay their gravesite fees. Sure. Former people, yeah. <laughs> Marauders been raiding my graves, you see. Hence the armed guards. Okay. Oh no. They are after the most precious loot of all. Spacer's Choice Company property. If those Marauders swipe any more bodies out of my cemetery, company's gonna duck my pay. Another weird place you got here. Well, folks, we've arrived at Edgewater, but um, I'm pretty sure we're kind of just about out of time. So I don't really want to go in there and get anything else done. But, you know, <clears throat> we will certainly be back. I'm going to be playing a lot of that over the next few weeks. Uh, there'll be a Red Dead Redemption 2 Ultimate Review coming. There'll be a Greedfall Ultimate Review coming before Christmas. The Red Dead Redemption 2 review should be here by before the PC release of the game on November 5th. Uh, next week, I'm going to have at least one little Halloween-y kind of episode for you. We're, it'll be a Sidekicks one, so I'll be doing that with Kazura-san. Uh, and yeah, that's about it now. So yeah, I was I did tell, I was a bit down a little bit because I've been trying to sort out. Basically, what I'm trying to do is I'm uh, I'm thinking about moving my Let's Plays over to streaming and then uploading them onto YouTube. So streaming my Let's Plays, which would mean an awful lot less work, an awful lot less editing and stuff like that for the Let's Plays. 
and you know but it would give me not a lot more but a little bit more time to do stuff like ultimate reviews and and you know butch dumar videos and just a little bit more sort of fun stuff that requires a lot of editing um but i need to upgrade my capture card because this one's getting on a bit now i can only capture in 1080p at 30 frames per second i want to do it 60. um you know i'm talking about upgrading my capture card but this time i want one that i can use to capture from the pc and the xbox since i have problems using software like action and shadow play on the pc creates all kinds of grief so i wanted a decent capture card for that an external one if possible because i don't want to be super specking my pc to keep a capture card uh, a decent capture card even though i can afford a better sort of capture card so you know and <clears throat> also one that allow me to stream as well as capture so anyway i've been looking at all that and frankly it's giving me a headache so, uh, but you know, you'll find out the results of that soon. But I did ask actually on the community tab um, earlier. So if I'm going to stream, and I must stress, this is just a kind of if at the moment, I'm just looking at sort of expenses and, you know, what I can afford and what I can do and what I can work with. But if I'm going to stream, what platform would you prefer? What service would you prefer that I use? What streaming platform? So Twitch, YouTube, or mixer so yeah mixer youtube or twitch are the are the options so they're they're you know uh, you know i'm leaning towards twitch but you know youtube has certain advantages as far as the channel goes but we'll see anyway to give me any feedback on that you can leave a comment or you can follow me on twitch at nights twitch follow me on twitch no you don't you can't do that yet we can i've got a twitch account There's, look i'm getting off topic you can follow me on twitter is what i meant to say at night underscore arcade as regular subscribers will know and i'm guessing if you stayed with me this long you've got to be a regular subscriber anybody else would have tuned out by now um but yeah follow me there you know respond to me in the comments here or you know follow me on twitter and you know we gonna have a bit more of a back and forth as i'm in twitter a little bit more often than i am in here uh, but if you don't want to do that, you know, leave a like if you liked this video. Subscribe if you like my videos, you want to see more of them. Leave a comment if you've got something to say or any advice, you know, capture card wise. Uh, you know, I need to plug my console and my PC into it at the same time, but I have a two monitor setup in here. One monitor is connected to my PC only, and one monitor is connected to my Xbox only. And the Xbox goes through the capture card before it gets to the monitor. And, you know, I don't have a separate PC for streaming or anything like that. So I have one PC. It's a mid-range gaming PC. It's certainly not high spec, but it's not, you know, it's not a, it's not a piece of junk. I got it earlier this year and it's, it's not a piece of junk, but it's certainly not really super high spec. So, uh, yeah, if you've got any advice, you know, let me know. Uh, I edit, by the way, in, um, blah, 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 uh, movie studio platinum 15 the reason i mention that is because some of these things give a little bit of grief some of these capture cards give a little bit of grief when it comes to audio sync and stuff like that but anyway that is all for today so we will play more of the outer worlds look at this isn't it lovely we will play more of the outer worlds a lot more of the outer worlds and uh until then from night's arcade this is sleepless night saying nighty night <laughs>